Our brand new series of House of Horrors starts in half an hour here on ITV1. Now, though, a New Yorker heads for St. <laughs> City life is stressful enough, but it's a greater challenge for someone in a wheelchair. On a boat, though, wheelchair users like Kate Etherington can wind down from office routine and enjoy the same mobility as anyone else. Kate works in Hertfordshire as a graphic designer. Deadlines, you know, things are very rushed sometimes. We do a mock up by Wednesday next week. That's true because we've got uh, quite a few big campaigns coming. There's pressure, you know, things have got to be done, we've got to be creative on tap. I wonder if we can actually get a horse on there. It's <laughs> a horse dressed up as a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite stressful and quite a long hour sometimes as well. Okay, that's the reading. Any holidays coming? Kate loves her job, and the design studio is well suited to her wheelchair. But holidays are more difficult, so spending them on Mum's adapted narrowboat is ideal. Coming on the boat is so much easier than going, finding a bed and breakfast or finding a hotel. You don't really know what anywhere is going to be like until you actually go there you get the best of both worlds, really. It's in a different place every time, and I know that we can manage. Weekends like this just help me a lot. <laughs> Life on the canal has become a family affair, with sister Ali and mum Penny both living on the water. I think it's a bit of a busman's holiday when I come away with my mum, but it's nice to have a different style of boat and, and to not be steering. Myself, I get to do the locks for a change because normally I'd be, be steering. It's a wonderful life. It's better.